The Sweet Alert Library is now included. This tutorial applies to PHP Runner, ASPRunner.net, and ASPRunner Pro. A tutorial entitled Adding External JavaScript explains how to add the Sweet Alert Library to a project. This is not necessary anymore. The Sweet Alert Library is now included in version 10.5 or later. Sweet Alert is a library that replaces the standard JavaScript alert function. It can be used in any JavaScript event and is very easy to use. It is recommended to visit the Sweet Alert website for better understanding of its functionality and how it can be applied. Link to the Sweet Alert website to be found in the description below. I now add a custom button to the grid to demonstrate the use of the Sweet Alert library in PHP Runner. I will call it Sweet Demo. You are probably aware of the client before, server and client after events of any custom button. I will start by returning false in the client before event that will prevent the execution of server and client after events, at least for now. The syntax is easy. Type SWAL, short for Sweet Alert, and add the text or message you would like to display to the user. At this point we have a nice little alert pop-up that can be used anywhere communicating to the user. By default there is an OK button the user can click to close the alert. But there is more. You can add a title and in this case I call it Sweet Alert Demo. The text or message and an icon type. Here I used info icon to accommodate the alert. There are four icons to choose from. Warning, Error, Success and Info. Ok, as you can see adding a title and one of the icons transformed the alert into a good looking alert. And like before the OK button will close the alert. The same alert can be constructed by changing the code slightly. The title, text and icon can be declared in this way. Now why do you want to do that? One reason is a sweet alert allows us to add more buttons. Now adding buttons make the code slightly more involved. Declaring every part or parameter makes the code easier to read and to work with later on. Let's add two buttons, stop and continue. To do that I create a buttons section. Here I will define the buttons. Cancel and I name it stop and proceed which I name continue. Please note that adding a buttons section will override or remove the original OK button we saw before. Ok, let's have a look at what we have so far. An alert with two buttons. But at this point both buttons act the same. They simply close the alert. The stop button is working correctly. But I would like the continue button to trigger the server and client after event. Return false is preventing the server and client after events from executing. Hence the reason for both buttons acting the same at this point. I now change the proceed button to set a value when it is clicked. To do that I create a section for this button only. It is now important to define continue as text like this. I now add a value and the value is go to server event. The value can be anything as we are going to test the value later on. 
I just made it go to server event in an attempt to keep the logic simple. Now let's test the value. To do this, at the end of the sweet alert function, I add dot, then open and close. In here, add value and construct the area where I will test the value using JavaScript case statement. Now if you don't know this, you can always Google JavaScript case statements to get a better understanding. It starts with switch, the value, case, in other words, if the value is equal to this, then call the submit method and break. Break simply means it's going to stop testing. Then default, in other words, if any other value is true, call another sweet alert with a message you cancelled. Quickly, just before I continue, let's talk about the submit method. Submit is an AJAX helper object and it starts the server part of an event. So even though I have returned false over here, submit will override it and call the server event. And submit will only be called when the test value matches the value set by the continue button. I hope it makes sense. It's actually very straightforward. Okay, now that the server event will be called, I need to change it slightly. Depending on what you want your button to do, you can take several actions over here. All I am going to do is to set result txt to a message. I now extract the message in the client after event and use it in another sweet alert. Okay, let's see how it works. The alert is open. The stop button now call another alert informing us that the server event was not triggered. And that is because the stop button did not set the value so the default section was true and this alert opened. The continue button opens the alert defined in the client after event, meaning the server and client after events were triggered. And that because the continue button sets a value. The value matched during the test and the submit method called the server event. The server event set the message and sends it to the client after event via the result array. The client after event extract the message and use it in a new suite alert. I can probably end the tutorial right here, but some may ask if it's possible to add a third button. The answer is yes. Let me add a third button quick. At the client before within the button section, I copy the continue button, add a comma and paste. We already have proceed, so I rename it to careful. The button text will be careful too, and the value in this button is go to server event and be careful. I now have to test for the new value, so I copy the case statement. Now we test for both values. My idea is to change the sweet alert icon depending on the button the user clicks. The best place to set the icon type is right here at the case test, right before submit. I use the palms array and set a type. 
When the continue button is clicked, the icon type will be success. And when the careful button is clicked, the icon type will be warning. At the server event, I carry the type value over to the client after event. And at the client after event, I extract the type into a variable. I now add a title to the current suite alert. The message can stay and also add the icon. The icon will change depending on the button clicked. Let's test it. The alert opens. I now click continue and we have a success icon showing up. Again, this time I click careful and now we have a warning icon displaying. Sweet alert. I'll be using it a lot more in my projects from now. Till next time.